Only six Texas Longhorns have had their numbers retired. Our first of two celebrity insiders today is one of them. Number 12, the all-time leading passer at UT, but perhaps more important, 3-1 and one against Oklahoma in the Red River rivalry. Colt McCoy joining us from the San Francisco 49ers complex. Hey, Colt, take me back to your first game in this rivalry. Well, the first year I actually got to see the game, I was redshirting uh, behind Vince Young and uh, – I mean, just the atmosphere, um, the fans, the game itself was just an unbelievable experience. We ended up winning that game, and uh, I'm thankful that I redshirted because I got to see how special that game is. What do you think makes this game so unique? First of all, just the bus ride into the into the state fair, into the Cotton Bowl. Uh, it takes forever. There's fans everywhere. Um, you know, then you get into the game, you walk down the tunnel. Uh, the stadium is split between red and and burn orange, um, you know, right down the middle. It's just, it's just, uh, the atmosphere is unbelievable. It's loud, it's fun. There's so much history there in the Cotton Bowl. And, uh, you know, regardless of, of teams that are ranked or not ranked, uh, that game is a rivalry game and it's, it's always gonna be a good game. You went up against one of your best friends a couple times in this rivalry, former Sooners QB, Sam Bradford. What was that like for you, especially that 08 shootout where he threw for like five touchdowns, but you still won the game? Uh, as the quarterback, you kind of root for other guys to be successful, to do good. And, uh, but in that game, you want to win that game. You know, when you're going against somebody that you know, um, somebody that you're friends with, you want to go out there and play your best. And uh, people forget Sam played great in that game. Uh, we were just able to make a few more plays at the end and ultimately come out on top. Tomorrow's game has a very personal spin for you. Your younger brother, Case, filling in for David Ash at quarterback. I imagine you two have talked. Uh, we've had some good conversations. You know, I was really proud of him last week uh, for leading the two-minute drive there at the end of the game. And, uh, you know, hopefully that will create uh, some momentum for their team. What made him go to UT knowing your shadow would be looming over him? I think Case as a young kid when he was in fifth, sixth, seventh grade, just starting football, and I was at UT uh, experiencing you know some success. You know he saw what that was like, and um, once he got a, got an offer to go to Texas, I don't think he could pass it up. And um, you know he's had he's had some ups and downs through his career, but I'm really proud of you know who he is and what he's done, and and uh, really pulling for him this week. Have a final score in mind. A final, I'm, I'm so bad at picking Come final Come on, scores. give it a shot. What do you got? I, going, into the, going into the 2008 game, I would have never told you it was going to be a 45-35 game. You know, both the defenses were playing well, uh, and then it became a shootout. And then the next year, I thought we were going to score a lot of points, and I think we only scored like 17. So you never know in this game. I just, I'm pulling for them this week. Colt McCoy, astute analysis coming from someone who knows a little bit about this game. Thanks for the time, Colt. Okay, thank you.